How to be sexy part three. And I think this is the best one so far, friends. And this is about the power of self-belief. My God. I used to see this girl, Leslie Brown. I was 17 years old. She was a beautiful brunette, big almond eyes, skinny, about five feet five inches tall. And I was 17. And I was in my English 101 class in the US. All of you remember your first crush? And you know how guitar must be so the teacher would be teaching from there, but my eyes would always be. <laughs> I was 17 at that time though. So what happens is the semester there was for about three months, the first year, and three months tak himmati nevi baat karne. On my right though, said this chubby guy, short. Not nearly as good looking as I am. <laughs> at, the end of, <laughs> at the end of three months, towards the end of the semester, he decides to go and talk to Leslie and he asks her out for a cup of coffee. And guess what? I felt like putting a knife, but somehow she said yes. <laughs> Six months, I was like, Sare, mote ka chance like that. <laughs> After six months, I found out through a common friend that Leslie actually liked me and she was waiting for me to ask her out, but she didn't, I didn't have the belief. The mota took the cake. <laughs> so, uske baad aisa kabhi mauka hua nahi hai. But anyway, so, so the main thing I'm trying to tell you guys is the power of self belief. All of you can remember your first crush. But then, if you would have just tried or just been polite or a gentleman or a gentlewoman or a lady, you never know what would have happened. That was my first lesson in belief. <laughs> Second very interesting story that I want to share with all of you guys about what happens when you do have great self-belief. Yesterday, only yesterday, I was supposed to go to Sal Hospital. I'm going to climb uh, the Himalayas, I'm going to Kailash with a few gurus and sadhus to meditate in the caves there. Shiv Bhagwan was the first one who meditated there. How many of you have been to Kailash? Okay, great, just one, great. So for that, they require to do a full body checkup. So it goes almost four hours. You know, they check your cholesterol levels, they check your diabetes, they check your blood pressure, they, I don't know, they took blood twice, urine samples, their teeth, eyes, all these things were going on. But instead of four hours, by the time I got out of there, it was almost six hours I was there for. Now here's what would happen. I would go in and there would be a doctor. Now this doctor was supposed to check my abdomen and they were sending to different doctors one after the other. How many of you have done a full body checkup before? Okay, a few of you. It's, it's crazy. 10, 12 doctors back to back to back you have to meet and they check you. So I go in and this doctors, you know, non-stop so many people are coming so he was just like this is like, ah, kya problem hai aapko? I said, sir, ek problem hai. Baut khush rehta. Baut hai. So, hello? He's like, no, but there must be some problem. I was like, sir, I'm Superman. No problems at all, whatsoever. So that guy gets startled for a little bit. He's like, aap karte kya ho? What, what college are you in? I was like, well, thank you that you think I'm in college. <laughs> but I told them what, what all of you guys do in you are. I told them that, you know, I'm a healer and stuff. He's like, yeah, my joints are very tired. I'm a lot doctor. Can you please guide me? Can you share me what, since you're saying you're a healer? So by the end of the fourth uh, session, all of you will be healers too. And after your house, you'll line up your people. Well, like, you have to help you, you have diabetes, and blood pressure. And you will know how to heal them. So I told him, oh, your joints are hurting. Are you a perfectionist? He's like, yes, I'm a hardcore perfectionist. You know, rotary, thodi bhi golda and to bairi khagdai na. Like, that also happens here, right? Even at work, you must be perfect. Yes, he's like, you know, I, all my assistants are scared of him because I'm so perfectionist. I said, that's why you have joint problems. 
And this is the affirmation you should say that you know I'm extremely flexible. Look in the mirror, say it 30 times a day, and soon you'll start becoming flexible and your joint problem will go away. So instead of sitting with him for 10 minutes, I we sat for 30 minutes where he was my doctor for 10 minutes, the rest 20 minutes I was the doctor. <laughs> so now what this guy does is he goes to the next doctor who I'm supposed to go and talk to, the teeth doctor. And he goes and says, Sir, ah, please have a khade He goes inside and says, Sadhu Mahatma hai, yeah? <laughs> Aapke sab problems pooch lena. So I go in and this lady's got this big smile and she's like, my daughter, she likes this guy who's no good for her. <laughs> From there I go to this another lady and this other lady, she's, you know, doing the heart. So I had to, you know, they padded me up with things, I had to jog on the thing. And uh, she was just 26 and she was brand new doctor there and she's like, you know what Amitabh, everybody's so jealous of me. <laughs> because I'm so young and I'm a doctor, all the old doctors are playing politics with me, you know. So, how many of you have experienced politics? Almost all of them. She's like, you know, these people over here, they back talk too much. What do I do? You help me now. So, as I'm jogging on the tram, <laughs> huffing and puffing, but she's so serious, I thought, you know, I'll say something. So, I told her, you know, simple. Just start giving everybody who's criticizing you appreciation. So now all the seniors will think, Are ye to threat nahi hai. Ye to tarif kar Just do that and you are done. Then she runs and tells the other doctor. So it took me six hours. And this is just self-belief. You walk in, it would have been such a lazy, boring, unproductive day for me. Right? Going in there and ha ye check up karao, ye check up karao. But it lighted up. And I know I can heal doctors because I truly believe that I can heal doctors or I can heal anybody. So that experience was great. When 12 of my cards went out to the 12 doctors and they'll be coming for treatment soon. And same will happen with all of you as you guys get through the, the healing powers. Now, a lot of you here might say, but Amitabh, you know what? You should see my cousin. My cousin is so beautiful. My friend, he's so intelligent. Well, your cousin might be beautiful, but you are also great. Your friend might be intelligent, but all of you are also perfect. All of you are absolutely talented. Maybe you're a great singer. Maybe you're a great dancer. Maybe you are a great joker. You make everybody laugh around you. Maybe you are great at managing teams. So all the time I keep on hearing, but you know what? My dad says I'm too fat. Well, your dad might be saying you're too fat, but you actually are unstoppable because you are here. Like, you know what? My mother says, I don't take care of myself. You know, she might say that, but you are unstoppable. You know, there might be people in the family who come and tell you, you know, who a job? Well, that might be their opinion, but that's not the truth because you are <laughs> We've all heard these words before, you know, you're too slow, yeah, you're just too slow, I give you some work to do and it takes you so damn long to finish it. You know, they might be saying that, but you're probably faster than them in a lot of other things. So I want you to understand each and every one of you here, that you are special, that you are unstoppable, that you are great. You're born here with a purpose, with a mission, to make a massive difference. And the fact that all of you are here, looking beyond yourself, trying to serve somebody else, all of you really are? Yeah. So no matter what other people come and tell you, I want you to know that you are unstoppable, totally. And you can do anything. You can give mesmerizing speeches, you can do great dancing, you can sing wonderfully, you can go and get great jobs, not one, but you can get five job offers when you graduate. You can start your businesses, you can start universities. A lot of you here, I'm sure, will start amazing businesses which will employ lots of people. A lot of you will become great cooks. Your parents will be boasting about you everywhere that my son or daughter is doing blah, 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 blah. And that's because all of you are? <laughs>